Hi, welcome to how to specify a domain controller and global catalog server for the directory synchronization agent for Migration Manager for Active Directory. I'm Chris Hawley. I'm one of the senior enterprise tech support advisors here at Quest Software. Hey everybody, today we're going to go over how to specify your domain controller and global catalog server for use with our directory synchronization agent, also known as the DSA. <clears throat> so, here we have my uh, Active Directory synchronization side uh, for Migration Manager for Active Directory. So we're going to go up to Tools. Um, you can also click on this little uh, double computer here. When you hover your cursor over it says Agent Manager, but for the video use we're going to go up to Tools, uh, Agent Manager. <clears throat> and here we have a, uh, a list of every single computer or workstation, server, whatever you want to call it, in our AD LDS database that has a DSA installed. Thankfully, in my lab, I've only got one, so it makes it easy. Um, we're going to select that DSA, right click, we're going to choose properties, and here you can see I've, I've already got some specified for my lab environment, but <clears throat> what we're, what we have here is my source, uh, DC, um, we uh, click on edit. When you don't have anything in there, it'll say add. So we click on add. Uh, we just go ahead and type in the uh, preferred domain controller, uh, preferably in FQDN format. You can do NetBIOS, but if you go the NetBIOS route, it's really important that you have a uh, proper name resolution set up via your uh, LM host file or host file so that the server that's installed in the target, your console, uh, can reach that source computer by uh, NetBIOS name. Otherwise, uh, use your FQDN um, and again just make sure that your D your uh, managed DNS uh, can reach the source environment or put in uh, put it in the host file so that the console can reach that uh, domain controller. Uh, same thing with the preferred global cat catalog server. Sometimes what you will see is in large environments they might have two uh, domain controllers but one's a global catalog server one isn't a global catalog so you can also specify two, uh, two servers it's completely up to your migration project on how our uh, Quest professional services consultant uh, scaled out the project or Quest partner um, scaled out the project and then you go ahead and do the same thing with your target and that's all there is to it. Um, really quick, the synchronization schedule, since the tab's there, um, you can set it so when you want that DSA to run. So if you've got a really congested network and during the day you don't want any synchronization happening, um, or maybe you have a couple of domain controllers in the environment and during the day those domain controllers are pegged really hard, um, you can uh, set it so that the uh, directory synchronization isn't going to run during those busy hours so it'll save uh, some headache there. Um, that's all there is to it with configuring your uh, source and target domain uh, yeah, domain controllers and global catalog servers. Uh, thanks for watching. If you want to know more you can contact us through our uh, live help chat. You can uh, reach out to create a support request um, through uh, the support admin. The, our number is 1-800-306-9329. You can also reach out through our communities page, which is kind of like our forum, or through social media. So, um, hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.